This is called the decontamination room? I think you're supposed to clean off after returning from the surface. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Ah, uh, that explains your shower heads. <clears throat> Just as I thought. This won't open either. The map shows an elevator hall beyond this door. If we came down the elevator normally, we'd be able to run into this room immediately, but... What about that? It's connected to the lounge. I checked it earlier, but no dice. Locked up tight. Do you think Zero trapped us in here to make us play the decision game? It's pretty obvious at this point. 1810. I think it was about 1330 when we finished voting and the drug put us to sleep. So that means we were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Junpei, I have something I've been wanting to ask you. During the vote earlier, you told Carlos... Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. Yeah, what about it? What about... How could you be so horrible? You used to... You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? What... What happened to you, Junpei? What happened while I was gone? I'd like to know more about you, too. What's that, Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? No. My focus is my little sister. Got no time for a love life. Heh. So our hero of justice has a sister complex. Junpei? Carlos really is worried about you- Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped just like this and escaped together. So why? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. I've seen people die. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. I'm probably becoming numb. After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh man. What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like they're trading cookies. Saw a co-worker I'd just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by-the-books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. So every day, after work, I drink myself to sleep. I slept in my bathtub with a shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. But last month, finally, finally, I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to decon. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. Santa, uh, I mean, Aoi. My brother. I heard about Ace. He's stuck in jail if he hasn't escaped yet. Lotus is doing all right. She's working and raising her kids still. Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. I worked with him once. We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? A religious cult. <laughs> They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. 
I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. I, I think his name was Brother. So wait, you're saying the Zero the Second has something to do with him? Do you know anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? Junpei. Someone using that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Stop it, Junpei. From what I can tell, Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. Huh? Free the Soul is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. I infiltrated the experiment to stop that. So you knew that this game would happen? I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. But you just said it's to change the future. A very distant future. So you access the morphogenetic field and... D Hold up. What are you talking about? A little late, perhaps. But I will now announce the voting results. Ugh, why do you have to interrupt now? All three groups are very different teams. Isn't it obvious? Junpei! Wait! Let's think about this! Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? It's to survive. It's kill or be killed. So we need to make sure to kill them first. Junpei! You've changed so much. Ah! Jupei! Damn you! Do you want to die? You're okay with never seeing your sister again? Maria. No way in hell I'm dying! I did not go for everything just to die today! No! Don't, Carlos! If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. While you're wishing on a star, we'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos!
within three minutes. Does that mean none of the teams... It has to mean no one pushed it! Oh, that was the longest 180 seconds ever. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm nearly drowning in my own sweat. <laughs> like I practically had that acid bath already. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? No! And when will we... Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That means... So you're saying we won't even know until we're already melted into goo? Now, it is time for you to see what it next you weigh. How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but maybe the door opens with it. I... I really wasn't going to push it, though. <sighs> Kids are a pain. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push? Hey, Mira! Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> don't scare me like that. But we really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 1808. It must have been around 1330 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So... Four and a half hours? Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> was it good? I was just about to say the same thing. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, my face has got to be all red. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds. Though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. I always mustered up my best smile for customers. Even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting sick of it, though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really, truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow, as if there was a hole in my heart. I thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. My god, the feelings that hit me. I'd never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized this had to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? Details aren't important. You 
look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Nero was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me an angel? <laughs> we gotta be kidding. But it's true. You really are an angel to me, Mira. person now, Eric. Huh? Well, earlier, you were being... Your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you... You're an odd duck. <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you've calmed down, huh? Dopey? <laughs> Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely smile no matter what. Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Wouldn't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Hmm, that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose. To observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. By adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. What is it? A piranha. A piranha? But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. Fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power that keeps them alive. Uh huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. I see. So, for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? Kidding! <laughs> Eric. Don't say scary things like that. Oh, so maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in DCOM becomes boring, so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency... A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Four, I can't say this is an ideal situation for any of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. I will give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. It's simple. I shall show you. 
What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards. They will bring down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. No! It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to know. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit. Three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Oh, we gotta hurry or we'll die! Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? Hey, stop! Where did the nice Eric go? Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! Wh why Eric? <laughs> Mira! <laughs> At least he's quiet now. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Wh what? Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? <laughs> what? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? Then... We'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. Now, it is time for you to sleep. When it makes you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. No! Budge. Does that mean it's locked? Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers in here? You need to wash all contaminants off after you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that... Looks like it's 
been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Do you not just hear that it's welded shut? Then what exactly is it for? Should we try pushing it? It's clearly suspect. Better not. Right. 1809. The anesthetic was injected after the vote. Around... 1330. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Um, that might not be true. Right. Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. It means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. But we just don't remember any of it. I wonder what the results of the voting are. It's highly unlikely that C-Team was able to survive. Why? You even have to ask? Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C-Team. Well, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q-Team. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I... Well, I... I don't really remember. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 13.30, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right, I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q-Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C-Team. Nonsense, you must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. No. Wait. Don't tell me. Jumped? What Sigma was going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. Oh, when he was saying mankind would be destroyed? What did he mean exactly? Do you mind explaining? Even if I did, I don't think you'd believe me. It's highly likely you won't even understand. You see, the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were rooted to the past again, and essentially ended up at this point in time, Christmas of 2028. See, you don't understand, do you? It doesn't have to make sense. You only need to believe us. About what happens in the future? I have to know, then. Why was mankind destroyed? It's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a large number are... Yes, the dead number six billion. It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. It spread quickly worldwide. Humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Some of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but I think Radical Six wasn't leaked from DECOM. I've got a feeling it came from the shelter instead. Regardless, back then we believed it all started at DECOM. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? 
She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Using the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server and altered the original subject list and data. I see. I mean, it all seems so fake. I could hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. All right, then. I'd like to go back for a second. Fi, you said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. Does that mean... Wait, don't! I'm doing it to protect you two! What? It's not to escape. Of course I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the train. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the train? By then, we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How could I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! Zero did say that we had three minutes. But he never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. It must mean that we are being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. Nothing's happening. Yeah. See? I told you, didn't I? None of the others pushed the button. 
So that's proof that the other teams can be trusted to cooperate. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the shadows would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you have yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. What? And when? Then the anesthetic will... <clears throat> I get it now. 